Hi Stitchers, Soodle here. Today I'm going to talk about joining crochet in the round. Traditional techniques have always left me a little dissatisfied, so I've developed a new technique that I'm going to share with you today. In traditional techniques for joining crochet in the round, whenever you are working at the end of the round, if you slip stitch and then chain one, you end up with this very noticeable diagonal distortion in your stitching and it just gets worse the farther you go and it can really interfere with how your amigurumi and other designs look. If you work in a spiral, that is great if you are working for something like a ball where you're going to close it on one end and then you know make your shaping and then close it on the second end but if you're working anything where you want to keep it open on one side like a little cup or a hat you end up with a really crooked look you know where you've got one side higher than the other and then you have to taper your stitches down and it just is never really symmetrical so although you don't have distorted stitching in your rows you end up with an issue in your final round if it's something you want to leave open so I have developed this new technique where you will slip stitch in the front loop only and then single crochet in the same stitch. So it doesn't look as great on camera as the other stitches do, but in person I find it's a lot less noticeable than the other styles of joins. So I'm just going to show you real quickly how it works. It's definitely important to place a stitch marker in the first stitch of each round or you can easily add stitches and accidentally increase. So at the end of each round, you're just going to slip stitch in the front loop only. Okay. And then single crochet through both loops of that same stitch. Okay, then you're going to single crochet around the rest of the row like you normally would. Oh, I forgot to place my stitch marker. Let me do that real quick. And then when you come to the end of the round, you'll again just slip stitch in the front loop only and then single crochet in that same stitch. So I find that this really helps keep it a lot straighter without so much of a diagonal shift in your round ends. So it's just really not as noticeable. Oops, I lost my marker, but that's okay. I can tell that this was that first stitch. So I'm going to, again, slip stitch through the front loop only. I want to keep it pretty snug or I'll end up with a horizontal bar that I don't want. And then I'll single crochet in that same stitch. Now, if this was my final stitch of my round, then instead of a slip stitch here, I could use an invisible fasten off where you just pull your yarn tail through that stitch and then back through the middle of the last stitch of that round, pull it to the same tension and then weave in your end and you have a very invisible fasten off too. So that is my new technique for joining your crochet rounds that I find a lot less noticeable in person. So try it out and I hope you like it as much as I do. Thanks for watching.